Hello, today I'm doing a blender tutorial using the ray modifier and the curve modifier. A good way to make sonic stages, make covering long distances without uh, even modeling most of it. You can just, you know, curve it out how you want it, like they did in Generations. I'll probably show a video of that and pause it, but. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to switch over to GSL shading. If your computer don't support it, then I don't use it. And now I'm going to use Hemi Lamp. I'll just place that over there. G to grab, R to rotate. I'm just going to rotate that 100 degrees, 180 degrees in the other direction, R, 180. You don't have to do that. That takes more memory, but. I like to use it. Add a sun lamp. I duplicated that with Shift D. Add a sun lamp, and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna switch in the texture real quick. All right, let's start. I'm just gonna use this layer, the first layer. Okay. First, we need to add a plane. Shift A. Add a plane. Go in the top view. 7 numpad G Y and holding control to move it up scale it S or well, no just go into edit mode and scale it out on the X axis let's see see I'm using the shadow model how much room I want it to be on grab these in I did control tab to switch uh, match select mode or you can just go down here edge select face select vertex I'm just gonna use the side I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit G to grab I use it on the Y axis and, and scale it out that way okay cool so edge Control tab edge. Let me go back in this mode. Extrude. I'm just going to extrude these sides right here because I'm like making barriers. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Like that. Extrude E. Press E. I'm scaling on on the X axis. Lock it bring it back this way on the x-axis extrude G Z on the z-axis going down this way okay cool I'm just gonna put yeah that's cool for the tutorial well, I'm going to start putting some textures on it. I like to work with textures because I, I don't know. When I see it, you know, I can roll with it. So I got a folder. Add a new texture. Material. Uh, control tab. I'm going to select this face. Road. I'm going to name it Road. Turn on spec. I got a speed highway textures. Add to coordinates mapping the UV. Open levels. This is all my stuff from the game. It's radical highway, not speedway highway. Okay, I'm looking for the texture I need. Need this texture. I'll bring that in. Sign. I need to ride this out because I need to bring up the, the UV panel and I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna reset it just right there because I like to work with it. so I'm gonna grab these edges right here and you see this is UV you you put them on a 2d plane for you can 
set them up in 3D how you want it. So I don't know if anybody know how to use a lot of UV mapping. But right now I'm just moving it to how I want it. Well, first of all, I need the sides right here. So I need to actually add two loop cuts. So loop cut, I'm going to add loop cuts in, loop cut, loop cuts, <laughs> loop cuts in, control R. And then you see um, the pink line, add that in. I'm going to scale them. I'm going to scale them to the edge like that. That's going to be my other texture. And you see what I'm trying to do here. It's going to get something decent going on. Like that. You know. Well, that'd be cool. That's my road. <laughs> and I'm just going to grab these faces on the side and use it for another texture. I'm going to call it side road. I'm adding a new texture. Uh, use UV image open. Radical highway. I guess this will work. Alright, side row, you gotta assign that texture. And they already got it up on there, so. Rotate that 180 degrees. Rotate this 180 degrees. Scale it up. Z. Scale this one up. Grab all the birds, scale it up from the UV panel. This one can use it too. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in a minute. I'm just setting up the road for when I can use the array modifier all the way around. Okay, this, I'm gonna grab these two faces right here, scale them up a little bit on the Z axis. So that's cool. And I'm gonna add these sides. spectacular let me turn the spec down I already did okay cool I use this arrow right here so I'm gonna apply it on these two sides right here since I got my got my arrow side texture you see it's not on there right so I gotta go back and set it to, to UV. Alright, there we go. I'm scaling it out. Let me grab both of them. Scale both of the UVs at the same time. Alright, you see what I'm doing? I'm just setting it up. I'll do it one more time. I got another texture. See, most of the time, once you have all the textures in the uh, in your level, you can just go back to them and reuse them. So right now, I'm just putting them in. Make sure you name them to something that you rem can remember and go back to. Image, Speedway, Highway. I'll just use that's be alright. UV, make sure it's UV. Assign it. Go into top view, numpad seven. You're just gonna rotate this 90 degrees and scale it on the y-axis. The UV. So you see what I'm doing. Okay. And lastly, these sides, I got a texture for that. New texture. 
no spec new image make sure it's UV okay radical highway and this I think yeah, it's this I'm gonna use this one cool you see what I'm doing there and oops scale on the X you know to copy it around that'll do this will be our main I'm just gonna duplicate this whole this whole thing right here back this gonna be our first our first this will be hold up this will be the main one and this one will cut it off